Good morning, everyone. Yes, I'm not at home. I, I'm at my, one of my daughters taking care of my grandchildren. It's a, it, it's a easy. <laughs> she uh, sometimes has to travel for work, and I got to come for a week and uh, basically just have to pick, be here for them to get off the bus. <laughs> And my little granddaughter is here, though. She hasn't started school yet, and uh, she wanted to stay home with Grozy, huh? Mm -mm -mm -mm. A better than daycare and all her friends there. <laughs> okay, just... She's doing her own thing right now, and then uh, we've got things to do today, which it's going to be a beautiful day in the 70s later on, and we're definitely going to take a walk. Yes, she's probably going to be on her bike, yes. So, and I'm going to, I also want to go and look around, see what's going on here, uh, you know, what's coming up. Yeah, I already saw in the, in the little garden beds, there is some uh, wild mustard greens. Yes, of course, we're going to pick those. They're yummy and delicious. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anyway, mm hmm living in the real world <laughs> it's one of those things uh, I don't have much else to say right now well I could but yeah it's always the same thing right <laughs> so I'd say we'll just get started here we are in because we got a job here to do we got a job to do we are in the first book of Chronicles 16. So the Ark of God was brought into the tabernacle. David had prepared for it, and the leaders of Israel sacrificed burnt offerings and peace offerings before God. At the conclusion of these offerings, David blessed the people in the name of the Lord. Then he gave every person present, men and women alike, a loaf of bread, some wine, and a cake of raisins. Ah. Whoever was there, okay. He appointed certain, uh, cert, c certain Levites. They say it. he appointed certain of the Levites. That's not quite right, is it? To minister before the ark by giving constant praise and thanks to the Lord God of Israel and by asking for His blessings upon His people. These are the names of those given this assignment. Asap, the leader of this detail sounded the symbols. His associates were Zechariah, Jael, Shemiramot, Yehiel, Matitiah, Eliab, Benaiah, Obed Edom. Oh, is that Obed Edom, the one that had the ark for a while? Not sure. And Jael. They played the harps and sitters. The priests Benaiah and Yahaziel played their trumpets regularly before the ark. Okay. Hmm. That's kind of new, I'd say. At that time, David began the custom of using choirs in a tabernacle to sing thanksgiving to the Lord. Oh, that's where that all started. Okay. Asaph was the director of this choral group of priests. Oh, give thanks to the Lord and pray to him, they sang. Tell the peoples of the world about his mighty doings. Sing to him, yes, sing his praises, and tell of his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let all rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord, yes, seek his strength. And seek his face untiringly. O oh, descendants of his servant Abraham, O oh, chosen sons of Jacob, Remember his mighty miracles and his marvelous miracles and his authority. He is the Lord our God. His authority is seen throughout the earth. Mm. This is very interesting that at David's time, they seem to actually know what the right thing is to do. Right? Remember his covenant forever, the words he commanded to a thousand generations. E. Why did that not happen? It seems like they weren't on the right track. It's just, ugh. 
his agreement with Abraham and his oath to Isaac and his confirmation to Jacob he promised Israel with an everlasting promise that goes both ways people doesn't it I will give you the land of Canaan as your inheritance when Israel was few in number oh so few and merrily strangers in the promised land when they wandered from country to country from one kingdom to another God didn't let anyone harm them even kings were killed who sought to hurt them. Don't harm my chosen people, he declared. Okay. These are my prophets, touch them not. Sing to the Lord, O earth. Declare each day that he is the one who saves. Show his glory to the nations. Tell everyone about his miracles. For the Lord is great and should be highly praised. He is to be held in awe above all gods. This, okay, he is to be held in awe above all gods. There aren't any other gods that are real except for the one, right? Yes? All right. And I think that's kind of a little bit part of the problem. Even today, yes, people get into all kinds of different things. Besides just, oh, put your trust where it belongs, right? Get the guidance where you should get it, right? Yes? I really truly hope that someday the people come to realize all over the world that in the past, uh, these idols, this and that, and today, we've got plenty of idols out there, right? things we rather uh, worship than our worship, right? God's not even asking for your worship, <laughs> just a relationship, right? Yes, um, that that isn't even uh, he, our Father in heaven, our parental God, our heavenly Parent, the Creator, money to whatever God Yahweh Yehovah isn't above any other gods. There aren't any other gods. He's the only God, right? Uh, always was, always will be the only one. There are no, all the other ones are, it's not even that he's, he doesn't need to compete with something that doesn't, has never existed, right? Isn't that right? <laughs> I've, uh, okay, to me, this is just, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, you got to get, and there is the second commandment, right? Yeah, don't create any, don't create any idols. Oh, well, that should tell us something, right? Okay, I'm just saying. It's not about laying all them other gods down or whatever you worship that seems to take precedence over our parental god, the one, right? the creator. It's, it's, a, it's not about laying them down. Acknowledge they never existed. They don't exist. It's not there, okay? Figments of our imagination, figments from the past, and they probably will still be figments in the future. I don't know. I hope not. Just saying. <laughs> the other so-called gods are demons. No, <laughs> they're not. They don't exist. They can't be either one. They can't be gods. They can't be demons. They're nothing. It's nothing. It's absolutely nothing. <laughs> That's what that is. But the Lord made the heavens. Majesty and honor march before him. Strength and gladness walk beside him. There you go. O people of all nations of the earth, ascribe great strength and glory to his name. Yes, ascribe to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come before him. Bring an offering and come before him. Mm. Worship the Lord when clothed, clothed in holiness. Yeah, I'm not getting this worshiping stuff, no matter what. I think that's exactly when you're looking for something that you need to exalt above everything, this snap. I don't exalt my Father in heaven. I learn. I'm guided. I want to be as good in a way. 
I've said this before, you know, um, there's this one song where, you know, uh, it says, oh, carry me on your shoulders, you know, I'm, I'm safe when I'm on your shoulders, I'm going, no, I don't, I don't want to be a burden, okay, one can be a burden for a while, when you're learning, trying to get all your ducks in a row, this, now, okay, but eventually you want to walk next to God, next to Jesus, all right? in a way, and have that beautiful, wonderful give and take relationship where you're preparing for what? The afterlife, for eternity, yes? It's a bit odd on how we're, we're, it, we're being taught to kind of be under the yoke, worship, kneel down, okay, I, I mean, I get it, but just say, in front of God, but you're fighting it as human beings. We've fought that kind of stuff, slavery, being under the yoke of someone else, rather than be the free spirits we we are designed to be. If it's on the side of goodness, free will, freedom to choose. Again, on the side of goodness. Okay, well, give me that other stuff. Well, anyway, so, uh, I feel any time I'm being told that I have to fear something if I'm not doing this or that, on the side of good, or uh, when it comes to uh, belief, you know, um, on how that is structured in a way, not as God would structure it, to guide us in the right direction, rather on uh, uh, how I have to buy my way into heaven, lie my way into heaven kind of stuff, okay? Fear my way into heaven. Uh, that's when you worship things. Start to worship stuff. Follow trends. In a way. And uh, I, that's not the God I know. That's nothing. nothing points to any of that. And if if you're willing to worship one thing or another, right, regardless of what it is, even if you, know, you start out with God, oftentimes that worship leads to what? Worshiping other things. Yes. So worshiping, don't worship anything. Establish a relationship of proper give and take. On the side of goodness, right? Yes? Well, anyway, I don't know if I make sense to people. I make sense to myself. <laughs> tremble before him all the earth. Why would I have to tremble in front of a good, loving parent? You only have to do that when you do what? Oh, okay. Your conscience goes, ah, did something wrong. Now I'm going to have to go and fix that. Hey, then you should tremble. The world stands unmoved. Let the heavens be glad, the earth rejoice. Let all the nations say, it is the Lord who reigns. Let the vast seas roar. Okay, this was during a time where they already had kings that, a king that didn't work out. Now they got another king. Yet, let all the nations say, it is the Lord who reigns. Yet, who reigns, actually? Well, that's just a physical, no, mm -mm, mm -mm. we know God did not want that. That's why the Levites were put in place to have that communication, the time for that communication with God to do what? Then give the guidance to the people. But they've already chosen, right? The Lord, our God, our parental God, is not reigning. It's, he's losing. He's losing the people. Right? Hmm. Yeah. For he comes to judge. Oh. Let the vast seas roar, let the countryside and everything in it rejoice. Let the trees and the woods sing for joy before the Lord. 
That's a weird one. For he comes to judge the earth. Oh. That's like a fallible whole thing here. Let the countryside and everything in it rejoice. Let the trees and the woods sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. Okay. I'll give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love and his kindness go on forever, yet he comes to judge the world. Okay. Or the earth. All right. Man, were they confused. They didn't. Well, somebody, it's a song. It's some kind of a praise song. Cry out to him, O oh, save us, God of our salvation. Bring us safely back from among the nations. Then we will thank your holy name. Oh, but not before that. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, there's a condition. See, we make condition. They make conditions for God. Okay, it's in, it's in here. Just say. Bring us safely back from among the nations. Then we will thank your holy name and triumph in your praise. Blessed be Jehovah, God of Israel, forever and evermore. And all the people shouted, Amen, and praised the Lord. David arranged for Asaph and his fellow Levites to minister regularly at the tabernacle, doing each day whatever needed to be done. This group included Obed-Edom, the son of Jedutun, Hosa, and 68 of their colleagues as guards. Guards? Guards for what? Meanwhile, the old tabernacle of the Lord on the hill of Gibeon continued to be active. There's two of them. Oh, well, David left Zadok, the priest, and his fellow priests to minister to the Lord there. Oh, they sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord each morning and evening upon the altar set aside for that purpose, just as the Lord had commanded Israel. Is that how the high places started somehow? They had two of them. David also appointed Haman, Jedutun, and several others who were chosen by name to give thanks to the Lord for his constant love and mercy. They used their trumpets and cymbals to accompany the singers with loud praises to God, and Jedutun's sons were appointed as guards. I'm not getting the guards thing. At last the celebration ended and the people returned to their homes. And David returned to bless his own household. Okay, that's 16. That's an odd one. Okay, so what I'm reading out of this, really, is that... Oh, I don't think I need this over here. Oh, I have it in my hands. What I'm reading out of this is that they actually knew. They still knew. That David, when David was king, or just became king, as it sounds like, and then moved the ark, okay, they still knew what uh, their ancestors were given by God on how to lead the people and how he was their guiding star. Yes, their guiding parent. Their guiding, okay. It seems like they did not. One has to question again, right, with the worship, the idols, the snap, what suddenly just became more important in people's lives. Right? Ah, so let's pick one here. Four. This is from the Family Pledge. For the completed testament age, under true parents, our family, centered on true love, pledges to fully realize the world of freedom, peace, and happiness by creating one great family, family, on the cosmic level, which is God's ideal of creation. And there comes my granddaughter. Hi, honey. Are you getting hungry? Okay. Okay, I'm almost done. Then I'll come in and do that for you, okay? What do you want this morning? Go on. Hmm. We have eggs. I can make scrambled eggs. Or I can make... Huh? Scrambled eggs You want... Okay. And an apple? 
All right, I will do that for you, okay? All righty. <laughs> I brought some eggs from the farm too, so it'll be really good. Scrambled eggs, toast. They have good bread here too. It's not that white and weird whole wheat stuff that you can, a whole loaf, you know, go like this. And you've got a little ball. <laughs> Make a sandwich out of that whole loaf for one sandwich. <laughs> okay. They have good bread here. <coughs> My daughter knows how to make bread, too. All right. Ooh, I think I'll make some today with her. There's a really simple loaf that I saw. I'm going, oh, my gosh, every child could make this, you know, without a whole bunch of kneading and all that, right? Very, very simple. Okay. Anyway, so there it is. For this morning, yeah. If everyone were to concentrate on their own families, right? Yes, just as it says in the pledge there, and the, no, no, in that one little section, we would have enough to do all of our life. All of our life, even as children, right? You're a part of a family. You take care of your families. And uh, I've got a whole bunch of birds here right now <laughs> coming to listen. Uh, and we wouldn't have time for anything else when it came, comes down to it. If we were to really concentrate on doing what? Creating families that then what? God can praise us for. Be a part of with us right? yes uh, oh now there's all kinds of other things come to my mind I'm not going to do that because I have a hungry child in there yes and I'm only going to fix her as you can tell she's a little one I'm only gonna fix her as much as I know she will actually eat no leftovers. Okay, I could eat the leftovers, right? Yes. Waste not, want not. And when you don't waste food, you also show, shows, also show some respect towards the people out in the world who are actually hungry. Actually still hungry people in this world. Okay, that's all I have to share this morning. God's love and blessings always. May he protect you. And I will talk to you all another time.